Oh, uh, look who it is. Sammy, what happened to your neck? Don't get cute with me. You know exactly what happened. I had no idea who I was facing, and as a result, I lost, suffering emotional and physical damages after you assaulted me with that safe. I am going to sue you for everything you're worth. I'd rather take you on in the ring than in the courtroom, but it doesn't look like you're in any condition to do that. No, I'm not, thanks to you and your shenanigans. But maybe we can work something out. I won't sue under the following conditions. First, when I'm ready, I get a rematch for my title. And second, you no longer use the safe as part of your entrance as it will cause further emotional distress, putting me at an unfair disadvantage. I actually already told management I was done with the safe. Anyway, just let me know when you're ready to lose to me again. I will, but it won't be a loss for me. And in the meantime, I have one other condition to prevent legal action. First, you must face my hand-picked opponent, so I can rest up and do some extra scouting. Sure. Who do you want me to go up against? Oh, you'll find out in the ring. Not a great feeling when you don't know who you're facing, is it? Good luck. Man who might transform WWE forever, The Lock. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from El Paso, Texas, weighing in at 220 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental Champion, El Jefe Brandon Gutierrez. The Lock might want to change his name to The Luck because that's what he's going to need if you. Anything can happen tonight. All's fair in lock and war. The Brawling Bruce, Ridge Holland. And his opponent, accompanied by Sami Zayn, representing the Brawling Brutes from the United Kingdom, weighing in at 253 pounds, Ridge Holland. Ridge Holland learned his craft from some of the biggest names in British wrestling, but he now sits under the learning tree of perhaps the best brawler in WWE history. A man you definitely don't want to start a fight with. You know that old adage, speak softly and carry a big stick? Well, it certainly applies to this man. Holland going to let his power speak for him tonight. Spectacular debut. The Intercontinental Champion will look to keep his momentum going tonight. And Sami Zayn's hand-picked opponent, Ridge Holland. Looks like Ridge Holland has company, though. Sami Zayn has apparently opted to rehab his neck at ringside. Buckle up, folks. The Locks title might not be up for grabs, but his reputation will certainly take a hit if he takes a step backwards here tonight. He's totally helpless. He knows how to avoid contact. Another reversal, eye for an eye here. Oh, great display of strength with the suplex. And the scary thing is, these attacks are being done with great ease. German suplex released. Repeated displays of power are painting an ugly picture here. Successful bit of offense with that maneuver. He's taking some good hits. A 
to the top rope now. Sky high. Oh, he retaliates. A running Hurricane Rana. Showing off the quickness. That'll turn things around in a hurry. A jumping stun to the gut. Inside the ring. Drop kick. Oh. Going for the pin. Sami Zayn just blindsided the lock with his chain. This was all a setup to weaken the Intercontinental Champion before he faces Sami Zayn. Come on, now. Did Sami say something about the safe? Could be some kind of revenge for what happened when the lock debuted. With the deranged Sami Zayn calling the shots, nothing is off limits. Well, whatever the plan is, Sami looks to be maneuvering the lock toward the stage. And the lock's helpless after taking that blow from his own chain. And there it is. Ridge Holland has brought out the lock safe. What the heck is their plan? Belly to belly suplex on the unforgiving stage. Now what are they going to do? Is Sami Zayn trying to tip the safe over on top of the lock? Those things weigh like a thousand pounds. This is way worse than what the lock did to Sami. Our Intercontinental Champion is going to be seriously injured. This is bad. Especially with both of them pushing it now. I don't think I can watch this. Gabriel Slade is here. Thankfully, he's going to put an end to this. Yeah, Sami and Ridge want no part of him. Oh, no idea if these two are friends. Maybe Slade just didn't want to see someone get squashed. Well, Locke certainly looks frustrated with himself, or Gabriel Slade, or maybe all of the above. He should just be happy he's walking out of here on his own two feet and not getting peeled off the stage. Hey, you okay? It was almost really bad. Thanks for the assist, but I'm fine. It might not have looked like it, but I had things under control out there. Really? It looked more like you were about to get flattened by a thousand pound safe. I respect you wanting to handle your own business, but I meant it when I told you I'd have your back. Look, let's get this straight. I like to do things on my own. It's gotten me this far. Take it from someone who's been here a while. That's not gonna cut it in WWE. And whether you want my help or not, I heard we're teaming together next week against Sammy and Ridge Holland. There's been a change of plans. I'm going to face them on my own. You're really stubborn, aren't you? Like I said, it's got me this far. Championship! Introducing the champion from El Paso, Texas, weighing in at 220 pounds. El Jefe Brandon Gutierrez. Ladies and gentlemen, by night's end, we will crown a new champion. Well, no offense to you, Cole, but part of me wishes Gorilla Monsoon was here for this match, just so we can hear him say history has been made at the conclusion. The pressure is on for the champion, looking to cement himself as one of the best of this era with a big win tonight.
Well, here comes the master strategist. Hey, the strategies seem to be working. And introducing the challenger from Montreal, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 212 pounds, Sammy Zayn. I think he's an amazing talent, but he's also kind of a jackass. Don't you dare say that word in Sammy's presence. Well, it's about time for Sami Zayn to put conspiracies to rest and actually prove himself. The Intercontinental Championship, one of the most prestigious titles in all of sports entertainment. What an atmosphere for the Locks Premium Live Event debut. And what a matchup as the Intercontinental Champion defends his title against his biggest nemesis in WWE, Sami Zayn. Biggest nemesis in WWE? Who's the Locks' second biggest nemesis? Give me a break, Cole. The guy just got here like 10 minutes ago. Well, he's already made more of a mark in the ring in 10 minutes than you did in 10 years, Corey. And I expect him to make a few extra marks on Sami tonight. He's got something coming. Mm, all right, that's it. Uh, 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 Set him up. Got the head scissors on. Oh, oh. elbow to the face. Coming in hot. Locke might be looking to fly. From the top. You got to be kidding me. And after that, you know. Things have just kicked up a notch. Pedal to the metal right now. Oh, a timely counter by Zayn. Oh, great. Rearranging our ringside furniture here. Here on the announce desk. What a mess. Don't come over here. Cole, quick. Use Saxton as a human shield. Finally slam with oof. Locke watching attacks left and right. Now we're seeing some rare flaws in Sami Zayn's game plan. Goodness gracious. Jumping European uppercut. He's turning the tables. Momentum going back to Zane's corner. But Zane has to push now while the window is open. Squaring off right by our announce table. close to our desk. That's it. I'm out of here. Sequence of reversals there. Launched with a belly to belly. The challenger not looking good right now. And we're deep into this last man standing match now. Every blow makes it harder and harder to stay off the ground. And that one misses the mark. A running hurt Colorado. Beautiful. This fight is going down front of our faces. More up close and personal than I'd like to be. Well delivered suplex. Everyone get out of the way. These two are abandoning all restraints. Just 
Look at this scene. Absolute carnage. This match has gotten out of control, and I don't know if it was worth it. Yeah, oh, this sanguineous WWE Universe loved it, Saxton. Make of that what you will. That's seven. We may be getting to the end. And the Rock can still hold the title above the competition. Here is your winner, and still WWE Intercontinental Champion, LFA Brandon Gutierrez. Wrestle perhaps the perfect match, never any doubt in this win. An absolute statement by the victor here tonight. What a steamroller.